Let's talk about brushwork, baby. Hi everyone, I just want to uh, just want to take this opportunity to just do a little bit on brushwork. I do this kind of demonstration in my workshops, uh, but in a bit more detail. Obviously, we just want to sort of go through a couple of things that I see um, a lot of people making mistakes with. Uh, brushwork, very important. Um, forget it's not a pencil, okay? It's a paintbrush. It's got many other attributes. Uh, Alright, here's what we do. Here's what we don't want to do first. I see people going like this, trying to colour things in. No, let's use the brush. Let's get the shape. Square. Uh, square. We need to establish our shapes. Sorry, a little, little baby crying. He's, he's all right, he's just bent it. Um, we need to establish our shape as quick as we can and do the least amount of brush strokes as we can because it, otherwise it loses its energy, loses its life and it just goes dead um, if we're overdoing it. <laughs> and um, you know, things like, like this, instead of coloring it in, outlining, this is another thing I see people do. They'll outline something, then they'll take a million years to go back to it, and then they'll start to colour it in, they're holding it right down here, and away they go. But no, what you do is you go, bang, there's your shape. So this is the kind of brushwork we should be aiming for, you know, some just fluid, quick strokes that get us to the to the end goal. Um, yeah, just do a couple of figures, you know, the way I normally do figures is just whack the heads on to establish the sizes, all that sort of stuff. Um, then just go back in, you know, join them all up. And with some thicker paint, go back in do some legs, some nice movement. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, buddy, that's right. Um, oh, I think you've done a stinker. Um, but you know, none of, none of this shaping things and, and uh, going, you know, around yeah, yeah, yeah. everything, none of that. Do you disagree, mate? Do you disagree with my my philosophies, that's no good. Um, trees are another perfect example. So, um, we don't want to go, you know, color your trees in and do a little branch. We want to use the brush. Grab some of that. Cut the branches in, trunks. You know, I've just, you know, I've just got some thicker paint on this other little brush, just slightly. And, Establish some different things. Use the side of it. Look, side. You've just painted a million leaves. You know, buddy, splash. You know, heaps of stuff there. Um, things like this. You know, put your brush down. Boom. Brush. Push in. Quick stroke up. You know, and you've got some different kinds of things. So, think about your brush. Here's a little. Um, little building down here that I've got that I've just sort of drawn up just as a shape but I mean there's your roof there it is you know like put your shape in refine it away you go you know like get you know, calligraphy Painterly. We want to be painterly. We don't want, don't want any, you know, don't want any precise, clean marks. We just want nice, fluid brushwork. You know, there's a building. We'll make it a bit 
darker there and there. Hey bud. Thanks mate. Hey, get your hands out of the paint. Alright, so, you know, you want to establish nice brush marks. And here, you know, like there's a window. Bang, 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 bang. And there's the outline. We, one thing we don't want to do is, you know, colour in and make sure everything is 100% precise, straight. Under that, that we do this. Oh, straight across. A car is another good one. Cars are good because they're sort of, especially if you're front on. <laughs> What's wrong, mate? If you're doing the front on, that could be a great thing and really easy. But you know, you've got a couple of wheels there. Shadows underneath are really important as well. But you know, you've got got some little, you know, wet, like well, just some water on the windscreen, some thicker paint. Just go back into it, develop that. Hey, stop moving everything, mate. Come on. Daddy trying to do something very important here, alright? You know, you got a car, a tree behind the car or whatever. And calligraphy, um, really important. This is just your own individual kind of thing that eventually ends up telling uh, you can. They tell artists apart a fair bit from their calligraphy because uh, it's something that's in you and it only comes with, with practice. And it's just about being fine, having thick paint. Mate, come on, what are you doing? What's going on? Alright, so, you know, like a steeple or a spire or a church, you know, they can be tricky to get right at the best of times, but if you keep them nice and loose, Loose brushwork, here we go. Little bits. You know, you can have a bit of success there. Oh, sorry, mate, won't be long. Won't be long, buddy. Now, domes are another one. Talking about domes, there's those shapes again. Establish your shape. You know, you've got your little bits on top, which we'll embellish in a sec. When you go back in with a bit of thicker pigment, get some nice stuff going there so it melts in. And you've got a bit of a, a dome going on there. That's a good way to do it. And it's just about the fluidity, letting you hey, let your brush dance around. Have, have a good time, you know. Um, what I will do, I just want to show you this one brush stroke that is really effective for when you're doing things like uh, like uh, sparkly water and even on land surfaces. If you're in a landscape, and land always sort of put a few of these little skippy. I don't mean like as a bush kangaroo. I just mean they skip across the paper. That you know, use the tooth of the paper to give you some sparkles. And you've got to have your brush pretty well loaded. Um, same sort of thing as we did up here. Push in to release the pigment from the brush. Bang. Just nice and quick. And, you know, and you get some cool little marks. But anyway, that's just a quick thing on brush work. Uh, please don't colour in. We're not colouring in here. We're painting. Alright? Painting. Not colouring. If you want to get one of those adult colouring books and a couple of pencils, go nuts, but don't do it on your paintings. Um, thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe and share and blah de blah de blah. Love your work. I will see you again soon. Adios, amigos.